all you beautiful souls. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Michelle. We talk about things like love, spirituality, law of attraction, and all of that juicy goodness. I'm an intuitive reader, manifesting coach, a Reiki practitioner, a life path guide, and mentor here to help you co-create the life of your dreams. And in this video, I'm going to share one tip that will help you along your journey. And this is something that consistently comes up in all of my sessions. And it was a channeled message that I received through a reading one time. It has stuck with me ever since. And this message is all about your emotional guidance system. When we're calling in desires, we might have a little bit of resistance around this desire. Whether it's money or a partner or job or a home, there's this little voice inside of us, which is our inner child. And it might be saying that this is too big for us. We, we're not worthy of this. And we as adults are not even conscious of these thoughts. They live in the subconscious. And that's why on my channel, I teach all about reprogramming the subconscious before bed every night. You can listen to meditations, you can listen to subliminals. I have some linked below that you can click on. I'll attach them in this video as well. When we reprogram our subconscious, we are then allowing that little girl or little boy inside of us to rest and to say, it's okay, you're allowed to receive now. You've been through something difficult in your childhood and maybe you didn't receive good and receiving good things doesn't feel right, but it's okay, you're allowed to receive now. And this is something that consistently comes up in all of my sessions and all of my readings and my mentorship program. And I was actually with a woman the other day and she was talking about how she was feeling so unsettled in the moment. She was filled with this anxiety slash excitement and she didn't understand what was going on internally. And then she shared with me what had been going on in her life and everything was clicking into place. She got the best schedule at work. She got this great thing that happened at home. Her neighbors moved who were very noisy. She just was receiving so much good. But because the little girl inside of her from her childhood had never experienced this much good so quickly, she started to freak out. Her nervous system was panicked. She literally physically was almost sick in front of me when she was talking to me. And I had to remind her to say, hey, I need you to sit back and just allow this feeling to be there and tell that little girl inside of you that you are worthy and you're allowed to receive this good and the ball is not going to drop. Everything is going to stay and you're allowed, you're allowed, you're allowed. And it almost dissipated within like 30 minutes. She felt so much better. She was like, oh my gosh, I didn't realize that that's what the feeling was. It was my nervous system not being comfortable with good things happening to me. She goes, I hate this for myself. She's like, I want to receive good and I want it to feel good when good things happen. But that's the problem with inside of us. We have to uncover fear, worry, limiting beliefs. And when we understand the nervous system and the subconscious, what we've been programmed to think, feel, and do, once we understand that and we bring awareness to it and we can see it, now when good things come in and we're not blocking them from coming in because she was almost blocking them. She was, she was identifying with this feeling that it was negative and she wasn't allowing herself to receive the good and she might have self-sabotaged. You know, a couple of those things could have fallen through somehow. Maybe her schedule would have gotten changed because she would have internally said, this is too good to be true. I don't deserve this. And now her subconscious saying, get rid of this. We don't like this feeling in our body. Let's make this feeling stop. And that is why some people don't receive manifestations. That's why they self-sabotage is because it feels almost wrong to have something that's so right. So when you're recognizing your feelings and your emotional guidance system, and you're saying, okay, something feels different. I've never felt this before. Let me sit with it. Let me talk to somebody who might know something about this. But if my reality is reflecting that good things are happening, this must be what Michelle said. This must be my nervous system not being comfortable with good things happening to me. So instead of running from the feeling, the excited, nervous, anxious, almost sick to your stomach feeling, you're going to sit with it. You're going to put your hand on your belly or your hand on your heart. And you're going to say, I am worthy of this. Let's get used to this body. Let's let me tell you 
that this feeling won't always be there because good is going to keep coming and we're going to allow it. So then going to feel natural to receive it. And I'm not going to feel this anxious energy all the time. It's just right now. And I'm acclimating to this new energy. So I hope this helped you. We really do self-sabotage the good in our lives. And we block things from coming in because we don't even know what, what's going on in the subconscious. So when we bring awareness to that and the way you can find out what's going on in the subconscious is through your reality. If you're not receiving things, you're somehow, there's some story or belief system that you are replaying over and over again in your head that's telling the universe, I'm not, I'm not ready for this. It's too good for me. I'm sorry. And you have to uncover that. And sometimes if you can't find the root, maybe just starting with subliminals and meditations before bed can really start to prime that subconscious to open up a little bit. It's almost like a door is cracking open when you do that. And then all of a sudden you start to see good things come into your life from the subliminals and the meditations. And then the door really opens. And now the subconscious is really like, wow, this works. Let's do this more. And then when the good comes, that's when the feelings might surface. And that's when you're going to remember this video and you're going to say, okay, I'm going to sit with the feeling and know that something bad doesn't come next. And I am proof. Anytime something amazing happens in my life, like for instance, my daughter uh, passed away in 2012 and the anniversary of her passing was August 29th. So it was, a, it was just last week. And I got news that my channel is now being monetized and I am now a YouTube partner. And the email came in on the day of my daughter's anniversary. I've waited so long for this email and it literally came in on the most perfect day. Well, the next morning, like five o'clock in the morning, I'm laying in bed and I'm thinking all of these thoughts about my relationship. And I'm, I'm thinking it's never going to be good and I'm never going to get married and oh my gosh, I'm going to be single forever and it's going to be terrible. My self-sabotage was going to my relationships and trying to attack another area in my life to make me lose the joy I just experienced. So the good feeling about my channel, my nervous system was wanting to push away the good feeling. So it was looking for evidence of something else that's not right in my life. And it found a relationship and it was like, yep, we're going to focus on this now because this feels too good to be true. So let's focus on something negative. And this is what the mind does. The ego wants to feel safe. It wants to be comfortable. And me as a child, I felt comfortable not receiving good things. I actually felt comfortable with abuse. So I've had to do a lot of reprogramming and a lot of unlearning to get my nervous system to be open to the good thing arriving and not going to the next bad thing in my life to distract myself from my joy. So I hope that tip helps you. If something good is happening in your life, beware the next day your ego might try to hijack you and steal that joy away. And you're going to observe it and you're going to say, I'm not going to think these thoughts. I'm going to focus on the good. I'm going to take myself out to celebrate the fact that I achieved this goal. Whatever it is, do not let your mind sabotage it. You are worthy of receiving everything. And if you're like my friend and you have that uncomfortable feeling because so much good is happening and you're like, is this real? Yes, it's real. This is how we are meant to live life. We're meant to unlearn it all and to know that we're worthy of just receiving a million dollars just for breathing. We don't have to work for it. Sorry, I'm really passionate about it. I feel like I'm screaming at you guys, but I hope you enjoyed this video. If you need help unlearning, if you need help working on your nervous system, message me. Everything's below in the description box. I would love to help you on your journey so that you can call in these beautiful desires and really enjoy it and not self-sabotage and call in more and more and more and then inspire others to do the same. All right, like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell and I will see you all in the next one. All right, peace out.